uh, a commitment to grow the economy, and the budget will balance itself. Will the budget balance itself this week? Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. We all remember Justin Trudeau's famous phrase in 2014, the budget will balance itself. Now, he was criticizing the Harper government, which had just introduced a, a balanced budget at that point, just as they did in 2015. But Justin Trudeau was saying there was no need to actually balance the budget, just have economic growth and the budget will balance itself. That's the context of what he was talking about. Unfortunately, since he became prime minister, that's never happened. He's never balanced the budget and he doesn't have good enough economic growth despite all this spending to balance the books. And it's not just COVID. Now, let's not pretend that we weren't warned about this. I myself was sounding the alarm saying, if you like what happened in Ontario under Kathleen Wynne and the, the liberals that were around her, you'll love what's going on around Justin Trudeau. A lot of the McGinty Wynne liberals moved up to Ottawa and they've brought the same problems with them. Out of control spending, deals with the NDP to keep them in power, absolute horrific results for average people and how they can spend their money. I wasn't the only person sounding the alarm, though. Stephen Harper was as well during the 2015 election. The Hill Belt run, eh? He says a modest deficit, a tiny deficit. So small, you can hardly see the deficit. That's what he says. A modest deficit. And only for three years. Only for oh, three deficits. Three, three modest little deficits. Well, those three small, tiny deficits have turned into deficit after deficit after deficit, and Trudeau's never hit the mark. He has overshot his mark time and again. Check out this report from the Parliamentary Budget Officer on what our actual budgets are going to look like right now. He said, according to the PBO, the federal deficit under current policy is projected to be $328.5 billion in 2020-2021, including an estimated $226 billion in COVID-19 response measures. Now, the crazy part about all of that is everyone thinks all the overspending was due to COVID. No, more than $100 billion was unrelated to COVID measures. And some of the COVID measures, I'm not talking about CERB, I'm not talking about backstopping people, but some of it was serious overspending on COVID measures as well. The parliamentary budget officer says we haven't seen deficits that big since the mid-60s. But the difference between the mid-60s and now is that we had great economic growth at that time. Now we have mediocre economic growth at best, one of the worst in the OECD. Now we've got this NDP liberal government. This is going to be an NDP liberal budget, and it's going to include a lot of extra spending. Scotiabank estimates that it could cost between 15 and 20 billion dollars extra, not, not accounted for yet, 15 to 20 billion dollars extra over the next three years. And that doesn't include the increase on defense spending or the billions that they've promised to spend on building a green economy. If you thought spending was out of control before, wait until Thursday's budget. Wait until the NDP are in charge, because that's what's going on now. Justin Trudeau has become the first NDP prime minister in this country's history, and he's about to present the first NDP federal budget in our country's history. You should be worried, not only for yourself, but your children, your great-grandchildren, maybe even your great-grandchildren. Let me know what you think. Drop a line down below. Make sure you share this on social media. And of course, subscribe to our channel.